This is my old tree. It's time to give it a new home. Welcome to Making Life Work, a lifestyle improvement channel geared towards independent and self-reliant people. So if that is you, go ahead and subscribe. We have been doing a lot of work on this channel, a lot of projects around the household, a lot of chores. But one of the things I've been working on is a planter box for an olive tree. That tree hopefully will produce olives in about two or three years. I've had it about two years now but I think it needed a little bit more space. So I wanted to build a, a planter box that had some dimensions to it, some depth to it, to kind of make it look a little bit neater than just your average box. So that's what I worked on and we put that together. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to work. Now that I got one side complete, I can just repeat the same angle on the other side. The next side's gonna be a lot easier. Now that I got my two identical pieces put together for each side, now I gotta do is attach them. I'm trying to make this aesthetically pleasing with a wider bottom, narrow at the top, make a nice home for our tree. Let's attach these sides. Just cut my first piece to attach those two sides. We got a five degree edge on this end, and that's gonna match our angle that we need to give us that pitch. Put this side square to trim it at the end. I'm gonna use this as my template, let's go. To keep us honest on our angle on the rest of this box, these next pieces are all gonna have to be cut to the right size. We won't be able to trim them off after we've attached them. Now we'll just take a pencil, mark the bottom of this board, and just continue on down the line.
that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I learned a lot along the way. I've never built a planter box quite like that, uh, especially nothing with the dimensions like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's going to do us a solid.